Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and today we're gonna to talk about a cool way to do shaded grainy textures. All right, guys, we are coming at you live through the power of the internet. Thanks, Boogie. Because this week I have power. Not like clout or political, but just general electricity that you need to make tutorials. So this week we're gonna do a request that I got on tutorial number 85, Integrated Textures. It's from LRZMRQ. And he says, would be nice to see how to make the current trendy grain texture look with this technique. So let's do that. Kind of like this. So a bunch of people have done these kind of tutorials already, but I set out with a couple of goals. One, we're making it with one layer. Second, it's not going to slip. It moves with our layer. So if I take this thing around and move it, this actually doesn't change. And three, there is no three. So I tried a billion and a half things, including fractal noise first, and that wasn't working because this grain came out the same all the way across. It didn't really like clump up in the darks and disappear in the whites, like I wanted it to, but we fixed it. So let's check out the whole base of this thing. We've just got our logo, and on top of that, I have gradient ramp. And this gradient ramp is somewhat special. If we open up our properties here, let's go down to gradient ramp. You can see that I have an expression on the start and end. It's very simple, it's just position plus value. That way when we move this thing around, these points move with it. So if I go and click one of these, if I move this here, it stays where it's supposed to be. Now in between, since we're just gonna play off this gradient, you can add things like bevel alpha if you want to change the look of it, but I'll show you what that looks like later. The next most important thing, fractal noise. And if we go down here, you can see fractal noise has position. There's no plus value, because I wasn't gonna move the offset, but if you wanna do that, you can do position plus value like these. And that makes sure that our offset keeps with our layer. So this doesn't really move. It kinda looks like it does, but that's because these are so small that as you move across, it looks like it's moving. But all the grain actually stays where it is. You can set up this fractal noise layer to be any type that you want. Right now I have it set to max and block. You can change the contrast so you get less grain, more grain. The only thing that seems to happen is that depending on which ones you pick and how you set this up, this kind of goes to gray. And I'm not a huge fan of that, so I try to keep the contrast a little higher. Other than that, I have the scale and the subscale set really small. So I'm going to close that one up. And if you want, you can tint. And depending on how you set this up, you can get a darker look. You can go with a different color if you want, which is kind of neat actually. I like that. Give that 80s vibe. Or you can just set CC composite and set the original to multiply back on top. Since otherwise this is a black and white layer, this will multiply our color right over top of it. And that's it to make the gradient shadow that sticks to where we want it. If we turn that bevel on, you can see it looks like that. You can reduce the edge so it kind of gets a little highlight in there. Just basically any kind of grayscale thing that you add under the fractal noise layer, it'll take that into consideration when we have this over here. Oh, I almost forgot. The trick to this that I didn't figure out that Sev helped me out with is that I had had fractal noise set to multiply. I don't know why this works, but if you set it to multiply, it's just kind of flat. It doesn't really clump up the same way. For some reason, setting it to add works. So that's the trick. Okay, now that is it. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd like to help support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Make sure you keep up with the blog at workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. There is no knowledge that is not power. Ha 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 ha. Fight! <laughs>